Hey everyone, welcome to part 3 of the Create Your Car video tutorial. So in the last video we got our car to drive around. I'm going to go ahead and run this. Boop -a -doo. Drives around, but the wheels don't move. Uh, and the car kind of looks a bit garbagey. So we're going to fix both of those things. Let's start with the wheels. Where you have your car's physics models and the other components of your car. Let's go ahead and create a new blueprint. So right click go to blueprint class and then in all classes at the bottom over here do a search for wheel and just grab a vehicle wheel so I'm gonna select that and we'll just call this uh, like front tires underscore BP so this will be the the front tires and then they're gonna act differently from the rear tires so I'm gonna paste copy and paste that and that was control C or you could right click and duplicate it and we're going to rename this there's my rename button right there uh, to back tires underscore BP okay in the back tires blueprint double click on that and we're going to drop the steering angle. So if you think about it, we don't want the back tires to do anything other than go straight. So for the steering angle, if you could change that from 70 to zero, that's what we're gonna want them to be at. And then go over to your vehicle. In my case, it's my Subaru. Whoops, uh, and the blueprint of that. And go to your vehicle movement where you set up your wheels earlier, your one, two, three, four, okay, and where it says wheel class for each of them, if it's a front wheel, and you should have it indicated somehow, or the two first ones are the front wheels, uh, click on that and then go to front tire, front tire for the first two, and then the second two are the back tires, back tires, and then compile now that we got that we can close out of this and we're going to create an animation for our wheels uh, just in this gray area again right click and we're going to create a new animation blueprint and yep over here animation blueprint it's going to be a vehicle anim instance and then select the skeleton of your vehicle and press ok rename your animation something like Subaru or whatever your car is. Whoops, I didn't select that. Subaru underscore animation. And then we're going to double click on that to take us to our animation pose. Drag off the result here and we'll need a handler. So type in wheel handler check off context sensitive and then grab a wheel handler for wheeled vehicle. It's going to create a series of nodes here. So drag those off. And then we're going to need our starting pose. So just go ahead, drag off there and type in mesh space. And it's the one over here called mesh space reference pose. So select that and drag it over. And now that that's good, let's compile that. Close out of this and jump back over to our vehicle blueprint. Go over to the mesh of the vehicle and where it says animation, animation class, and it's currently set to none. Change that to your animation. So in my case, Subaru animation. And now I'm going to compile that and go to the game and let's see what happens. Okay. So you can see that now when I drive my vehicle, the tires turn. I'm going to press escape real quick and just adjust my camera so we could take a better look at this. Um, let's go over to blueprint here to my mesh spring arm and I'm just going to modify this just real quick. Just need to see the side. Okay, so 30 degree angle or so. Okay. And you can see it working. Now, the tires are kind of sunk into the ground there. 
So my car is kind of sunk in and it probably shouldn't be sunk in. So let's go ahead and adjust the radiuses. If you go to your front tire and back tire, BP, whoops. Yeah, actually I was in the right place. Um, front tires here, uh, where it says shape radius, it's currently set to 30. Depending on what size your tire was in Maya is what size you want your tire to be in Unreal. So if I up this to, let's say 50, then I'm gonna have a larger tire radius. Let me go over here, change that one to 50. Okay, and I'll close out of both, select those. If you see the stars there and you do control S, it'll save those. So now when you play the game, hopefully you notice your tires are now more on the ground and not as sunk in, but it, it'll vary for each of us. So if your tires were made a different size, you might want to adjust them appropriately so they work. Okay, so let me quickly change the camera back. There's one last thing I want to do. Okay. Sorry, getting this spring arm to work is great. There we go. Click, click. That should be back to normal, I hope. Mm -hmm. Okay, the last thing is that currently when we imported our vehicles into Unreal, it kind of made them look like garbage. So it's a little hard to tell, uh, or unless it's not. But like if you look at your vehicle, like this is my vehicle, this is nothing like it looked like in Maya. It looked a lot nicer than this. And that's because when it got imported into Unreal, Unreal made some computations that it probably shouldn't have made and it destroyed or warped your car considerably. So let's go ahead and fix that. What I'd like you to do is go over to your, your like mesh. So your skeletal mesh, uh, it's the one with the pink underneath it. I'm gonna double click on that. And this is our vehicle, or at least what was imported, our colors, our textures and everything. And scroll down to mesh, I believe, over here. Um, or is it, no, down here in the import settings. So when it was imported, okay, and look for the one that says normal import method, and it says compute normals. That was Unreal computing the normals for us, but instead we're gonna import them. So click on that, go to import normals and tangents. Select that, and then we're going to re-import our mesh. So look at your vehicle, click re-import mesh, and you'll notice that it immediately smooths itself and looks a lot closer to what it does in Maya. Now, we can also bake these materials and make it look more, uh, more reflective, more glossy and everything. So if you go to bake out materials, you can choose uh, opaque. And then if you just press confirm, it will bake your vehicle or the textures on it and it'll make it look more reflective, more shiny, more vehicle-like. So now, I'll just save that. If we hit play, you have a much nicer looking vehicle with functioning wheels that drives around a lot nicer. Okay, and there you go. So that's gonna conclude this video, video tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, this is Mr. Z, signing out, peace.